Hello, Lila Parsons here, reporting for the Hoxton Fashion Show. I'm in Hanover Square outside the famous Vogue House, where we're going to be going in a minute to chat to the chairman of London Collection Men's and editor of GQ himself, Dylan Jones. The spring summer 16 shows have just finished, and we're going to go in and get the lowdown. Are you willing to die? So, what's been, what have been the biggest trends that you've spotted this season? Seriously, the important thing about London is that there is such huge diversity. So you can go and see a Savile Row presentation by Richard James or Giza Hawks or Hardy Amos and see something beautiful and luxurious but, but, but fairly traditional. And then you can go and see a show by Craig Green or Aggie and Sam or Katie Erie and see something completely different. Fantastic. And do you feel that each season it's getting bigger and better? Well, it has to get bigger and it has to get better. I think that the... Because if you don't grow, you shrink. Um, the most important thing about LCM7 was the fact that I think now international designers are beginning to use London as a platform. What do you think of the really baggy trousers that I've started to see everywhere? It's quite a lot of baggy trousers this season. Um, Patrick Grant at e, e Torts is very big on the baggy trouser for a while. Um, top, top Man, top man did baggy trousers and sort of nor Northern Soul baggies. Um, I think it's great. Yeah, yeah it's good. I was going to say how trend driven do you think men's fashion is? Because I feel like, you know, women, it's very trend-driven each season. Oh, we've got to start wearing that. But do you think men, it's less so? Or do you think it'll, it still definitely makes a huge impact on what people wear? I think it's, I think it's a combination. I mean, if you look at the, the guys who sort of swirl around the LCM, it's fantastic to go to Victoria House or the sorting office uh, or the hospital club and see all these guys sort of milling around out, out, out outside I don't know why they're there maybe they just like being involved in the scene yeah. but they look fantastic and everybody makes a huge effort and I love that so how would you describe British style I think British style is uh, eccentric whether that is traditional sort of uh, Savile Row eccentricity or whether it's uh, sort of youth culture eccentricity I think that the uh, Brits and Londoners in particular are very idiosyncratic and they like dressing up and there's a certain swagger about them and a certain arrogance um, and there's a certain sort of playful nature uh, and I think that London uh, London Collections then reflects that. You are a keen Instagrammer I've noticed. I am. How important do you think social media is to fashion now though? Do you feel it's oh, really changed the industry? Oh completely. Fashion shows used to be sort of 200 people in a room and no one else was allowed in. And now the whole point is that everybody can see everything. Everyone can be part of it. And that's the brilliant thing about social media. Oh, I see. You're not the man I need. That's what you see. 